Members of the innocent hey, civilians hey, being hey. held hostage by Hamas terrorists after its attack on Israel being taken down all across the country by these activists here. And it's been captured on video. Uh, right here, mainly in New York, many videos of people ripping them down. They're going viral. But the artists, which you may not think about, actually creating these posters, wanting just to raise awareness about what's happening, showing support for those missing and their loved ones. And again, two of those poster designers join us now, Dede Band-Aid and Nitsan Mintz. Uh, welcome, and thanks so much for coming on today. Uh, Nitsan, let me start with you, if you could. Just explain what was the intention behind designing these posters, and why did you do so now and post them all across the country? We started on the 8th of October, which is one day after the horrific, horrible attack. And we are here isolated from our families, so far away, panicking, understanding how big the war is and about the people that are kidnapped, which are babies and elder people. We, this is, we cannot even digest it. So the only thing that Dede and I thought we can do to help is raise awareness, because here in Manhattan, in New York, people weren't aware of that. So we started one month ago. We would never believe that we would have to do that for the entire month. We thought that the hostages would be back after two days. It's been 36, 37 days by now. Yeah. Uh, Nitsan, I want to go to you. I, I want to address something that obviously viewers, the first thing they're going to see is your face is covered. So I just want to be very clear about that. You're protecting your identity. Uh, from what I understand, it, you can correct me on that. Um, but also, if you want to talk about the emotion when you watch the videos, and you see the people going around ripping posters down you. Your, your, your emotion Yeah, so I cover, my, I cover my face uh, for over 15 years. I'm an anonymous artist, and I uh, keep my identity a secret. Uh, it didn't start here. But yeah, we definitely feel the, the violence, and we feel the anger and the hate on the street. Uh, especially uh, lately, we see people tear down the posters, which is not human uh, in any way. They see photos of babies, elder people, people that can be their family, their brother, the sister, their mother, uh, they just tear it down. Uh, it's scary to think uh, this is what happened, you know, to the society. In some way, it feels like it, it failed, failed us. When people can't feel safe walking in the street, going to their campus, going to school, um, it's just awful. Dede, thank you for sharing that. Um, you know, I noticed that, again, the the red and the black, it's all very clear. It, and the photograph, it puts a face to the name of the people who've been kidnapped here. And I also noticed, Nitsan, it, it, we've seen them written in Spanish here. Are you surprised by how far your poster designs and the message behind it has spread throughout this country? I, I, yeah, we are both surprised because, you know, on the first day, Dede and I just printed 2,000 copies and walked with a huge heavy box in Manhattan and people refused to help us. Nobody wanted even to talk to us. So, yeah, the day after, after we, down, we uploaded it into a Dropbox file and posted, it went viral. And then we discovered how much people do care all around the world. We, we are surprised. Dede, Day -day, can I go back to you? Um, just final question for you. Are you printing more of these? Are you creating more of these posters? Do you plan on putting more up? Um, are you discouraged when you see them taken down? Is that going to stop you? It's not going to stop us in any way. Uh, we're looking for more and more, more, and more uh, ways to spread awareness and the posters. And uh, we use the, you know, billboards right now, digital TVs, trucks, any other kind of uh, media we can find. In any way, it doesn't disencourage us. Um, we put more and more. We update the files still uh, uh, twice a day on our website, and we encourage people to go to the website, uh, download, see all the names, all the posters, and approach us with more and more creative idea where to put it. And we really want just to have them all back home. We want to get as much pressure as we can on anyone who need to be pressured in order to have them back. Well, they've, they've been global. I mean, we've seen them digitally put up as well, not just there on paper. Uh, Dede Van Dade, thank you so much, Nitsan Mintz. Appreciate it.